questions uh, for a test score review. We've come to the question 10, which is the last one. It says, electrons and protons are traveling in a current through a conducting wire. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so it says, electrons gain potential energy and protons lose it. B, electrons lose potential energy and protons gain it. C, electrons and protons lose potential energy and D, they both gain it. So either they both gain it or they both lose it or one of them loses it, one of them gains it. The potential energy we're talking about here is not gravitational potential energy, but electrical potential energy. Okay, so let's go through this. We know that when there's an electric field, okay, so imagine that there's a wire here, okay, and uh, maybe there's a battery here, sets up a potential difference, right? So the positive terminal of the battery is connected to one side of the um, uh, wire, so this is the higher potential, and the common outlet, which is the smaller, the common outlet is connected to the uh, right side of the wire, so the left side of the wire is at a higher potential, we say. And there's an electric field that is created in the wire. The electric field goes from higher potential to lower potential, right? So which way are electrons going to flow, okay? Electrons always flow from uh, lower potential to higher potential. The other way to say this is if you put an electron here, what is the direction of the force on the electron? F is equal to QE, right? Well, since the charge of the electron is negative, so the force on the electron is opposite to the direction of the electric field. Since the electric field is to the right, the electron feels the force to the left, and so the electron moves this way, okay? We could write that in red. The electron moves to the left, right? So since the electron moves opposite to the electric field, the electron happens to go towards higher potential. Which way do positive charges flow, okay? So protons, let's say. Let's say the protons were actually flowing. In most instances, they aren't actually, but let's say they are. So the protons would come here, positive charges. Which direction would the force be? F would equal positive EE, right? So the force would be to the right, and they would move this way. So we say positive charges like to move from higher potential down to lower potential, okay? Now, what happens to their potential energy? Delta U is equal to Q delta V. Oftentimes, potential energy we also write in terms of the letter U, okay? So now, with the positive uh, charge, what happens? With the positive charge, their uh, charge is positive, so positive E, okay? So we have delta V, V final minus V initial, right? So since their charge is positive, I wrote plus E. Now the positive charge is moving this way. So what's the final voltage of the positive charge? What's the final voltage? Zero, right? Final voltage is zero, minus. What's the initial voltage of the uh, positive charge? The initial voltage is V, because it starts from a higher potential. So initial voltage is V. If you do positive E times zero minus V, what are you gonna get? Delta U, change in potential energy of the proton is what? Positive times negative, negative EV. What does that mean? That means the proton loses potential energy because the change in its potential energy is negative, okay? Because it loses potential energy, it gains kinetic energy as a result. So by the time the proton ends up here, it's going at a certain velocity, right? So now, uh, what's gonna happen to the electrons, okay? The electrons, the potential energy is gonna equal Q delta V. The charge of the electron is what? It's gonna be negative E. V final minus V initial. What's the V final? Now the electron is headed this way, right? What's the V final? The V final is V, because it's headed towards the higher potential. What's the initial V? The initial V is zero. What do you get? 
Negative E times V, this one disappears. Negative EV. Delta U for the electron is negative EV. Delta U for the proton is negative EV. Both of them lose electrical potential energy and they thereby they gain kinetic energy, right? What is the kinetic energy that they gain? Half mv squared, right? And um, the potential that energy that they use is the same, EV. So the potential energy that they uh, lose is converted into kinetic energy, and therefore their velocity is going to be 2EV over m square root, right? So if we wanted to calculate what is their final velocity, I would do 2 times their charge times their uh, potential divided by their mass. Well, of course, the electron's mass is much, much lower. So the velocity of the electron is going to be much, much higher. The proton's mass is a lot higher, so the proton is not going to be moving as fast. Okay? So now you know that this was actually kind of a trick thing. Uh, which one is going to lose? Which one is going to gain? Uh, and people... People get this question confused because they think, well, the electron likes to go towards higher potential. Maybe its potential energy is gained. And protons like to go towards lower potential. Maybe it loses potential energy. So it really throws them off. So what's the answer here? Um, uh, electrons and protons lose potential energy. Okay? So the answer is C. Both electrons and protons lose their potential energy. Okay? Thank you very much.